Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another very exciting after effect tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to see how to deform text like this so this is the text animation i saw in an instagram couple of days ago i'm gonna post a link down below so you can check the original one and i have also a copy to show you what is the original animation and what i did so if you follow me on instagram you already know i just post this animation i think one day ago so go ahead and check that out this is the basically comes from the experimentation so i saw this and i really like and how they did this i just open after effect and let's and just experiment and apply some couple of effects trying trying and then finally i did so this is the original i just i'm gonna show you so so right here as you can see so this is the part i'm, I'm gonna just play for you So as you can see, this is what we're going to create. Actually, I did already. I'm gonna just show you the main main hero animation in the entire text animation. Is this? Let me zoom and show you. So so show you. So this is so as you can see, this text deform. This is all over the place. As you can see right here. See, and in the end. As you can see just one or two frames see so this is the main animation in this entire clip I mean in, in this entire text animation so as you can see and when you play it's look pretty cool as you can see awesome and also here the second clip as you can see same thing just a blue color in this inner circle c pepsi yep so this is what i did so, as you can see, so this is just example i'm gonna show you the main so this is let me mute and play for you almost same you may say 90 percent i think so it is 90 percent okay see and this is just so this is what I add so this logo spins and all that this is not a copy this is what I did and I think it's look pretty good so see 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 that bendy deform text see here also here refresh and then this glitch and then right here again I just extend three or four frame and then fresh and then this one this logo so if you want to see this in a music go ahead on my instagram because i can't play here i think the audio is copyrighted so i don't want to play so go ahead and see in my instagram post with music so i experiment a lot of effects in the after effect turbulent displays all that because when you saw this first time you will realize this is a deform so it may be you can use turbulent displacement or liquify you know you can do this with liquify i try i also try let me show you i think i have so so as you can see i tried using a liquify see all that keyframes but it did not work so and again liquify so this i'm just trying and this is the two comp let me show you the text so as you can see so this is the whole text animation of this comp see that so this is the entire thing so let's see how how i did this so as you can see we have this text if, if i disable the effects just a bubble and then text nothing and let's create a new comp first 720p okay so let's first create a text let's use the same word 
delicious okay let's and go ahead in the align align this properly so as you can see we have a text let me and scale this down okay so we have a text proper spot in the middle okay the key effect you want to apply is called the smear not the regular smear the cc smear and you can find this on effects distort thing here it is this yes cc smear so this smear is pretty cool and i think they use this effect this is my guess because this works so well it's like a original copy you know so i'm going to show you so basically when you when you apply you have this default deformation so what you want to do so this point you have to put right here no right here and the second point is the middle so this is the second point so as you can see what is happening so this is the effect yep let me try to show you the animation and the parameters let me enable the guides so you can align the text properly let me show you where this line okay let's put this on top and enable the effect smear so as you can see we you have this two point and as you can see this is pushing if you press shift and you can properly move so i'm on i want this right here and this one right here so it's not looking exactly the same you have to move those points so as you can see now now you can see what is happening the main setting you want to change is the reach and the radius so now as you can see by default i don't know your yeah, by default is radius is 80 and reach is 100 so you need to down so as you can see it, it will stretch so let me set this to 70 for now let me set this to 50 and select the smear and move this point right here maybe yep here and the second one let's see right here so this is the initial let's see our reference anyone yep as you can see let me so this is the start so as you can see they look exactly the same oh my god delish delicious right looking exactly the same so let's try to match this okay so as you can see we match it right let's move this point so as you can see the s is showing a lot more so as you can see so this is the initial pose you can also call and you have to keyframe all these parameters see all those because we need all those parameters so let's move a couple of frames maybe 20 frames and let's see the this is the final pose okay now let's select the smear again and move those points let's move this see i'm holding shift so we can move and let's see i think right here and we need to see that u and let's set this to radius to 80 maybe no this 50 i think the reach yep the reach 120 select this and again the u u you want to see the u so now let's move those points again and let's see again yep so as you can see let's 130 and move this point this point right here so this is exact so this is you can get close because this font is different and this font is different so that's why they're not matching exactly the same but you get the point so 
as you can see and let's select those f9 graph let me select those and i'm using the script so like that So you get this and you can move past and like that so this is the main animation so you can see I made this using those and if you if I if I play this you will see this is looking pretty good delicious design delicious design see so this is how let me show you the text so as you can see the smear again and if I select you can see those points and they move also the all all the setting is changing so see that so I just offset and then the bubble is just a shape layer with position keyframe and then I I just move this curve like that So this is it so that is the animation and let me show you so this is the I think the final see that professional see and let's okay so now you know the text deform how to do this so now let me show you how I made this entire thing if you wanna see how I did this continue to watch and if you don't just leave it so let me show you this step by step how I did okay so first this text as you can see this one those are independent because you know I cut it a lot of things so as you can see this effect is built like a Lego you know piece by piece you know attaching so this is how this is happening okay so let me show you press you so so I use the text animation tool so as you can see one is just doing a position and the second one is just the opacity so as you can see i'm not gonna go in, in a deep because this is a too much let me show you see that all those keyframes this is a too much because i want to match as much as i can so that's why i did this pretty accurately let's go to the logo so this is the actual logo see that and this is the logo so see because I have a wide solid layer so that's why this logo is hiding and you just see those things see it's white so I made a group and inside a group I have this red path and i have this circle and i just merge those together intersect if i add so this add and subtract means out and then i just intersect so i get this top part and in the blue i just did the same and then i add the stroke on top those are just bubbles so, and then this white so if i hide we will see this see that and this is it and those bubbles so see those bubbles so so the bubbles are made using just one single ellipse tool and just and and then I just repeat those 10 times and then I am at the wiggle transform and just keyframe all those parameters the stroke transform repeater wiggle spatial face so you get this and then the second one see that same thing and I use the soft light blending mode so if I use the normal you will see those all over the place but I wanna inside the blue so I just use the overlay and this is pretty good because I have a white so it will blend and looks pretty good so as you can see pretty nice and let's let me show you this one this as you can see this part how this is done it so those are bubbles and these are text and these are the red line so this is a simple 
just a path and we'll animate a path and then stroke and let me show you the glitch so smear and displacement so what is happening is exactly so as you can see so as we all know displacement using the black and white map and in between means black to white in between 50% gray is nothing it means no distortion so this is the same principle for this see that and just moving with distortion see that and let me show you the distortion map so this is the distortion map see that displacement map sorry so this is just animating and let me show you what is inside so what i did i just apply a gray with 50 percent gray solid and add a checkerboard first if you add a checkerboard on this checkerboard you will get this what you want to do go to the slider mode and just increase those values increase like this and then offset increase again and then offset like that and in this one you can make any color so this is it and then what I did I just keyframe those values and make sure you set the blending mode to normal so and then I just animate the color info so as you can see I just add the fill and this fill will cover this thing so this is pretty good so this checkerboard is giving me the white color so this is the white and fill is allow me to change the solid color see that see this color because i can't keyframe right here so i have to apply the fill and then the checkerboard so this is what i did so this is just animating see that so this is the actual displacement see i just keyframe every number if i did you will see what is happening so so that's it i think you see this is not the hardest thing but you know finding the exact technique how they did this is the actual challenge not the process so i just did a lot of experiment then I knew it how to do this thing yeah pretty good and this is all just the timing so as you can see once go in second out looking pretty dope so thank you for watching guys and let me know what you think about this and if you made something please let me know and tag me on Instagram and please go ahead and check out this post with music you will love it and that's it i think thank you for watching and keep subscribe and like comment do everything and we will see you in a way next tutorial have a great day